long-range tracking cameras now uh, beginning to pick up uh, the first discernible image of Discovery as it approaches the landing site. Discovery approaching the heading alignment circle, that imaginary cone around the landing site that the pilots use as a point of reference to align their craft to the landing strip. Kevin Ford in control of the stick at this moment. Re Discovery now going subsonic, the fleet leading shuttle announcing its arrival at the landing site with a pair of sonic booms. Three minutes until touchdown. Rick Sterko has taken back the stick from Kevin Ford. The vortices off the wings, very obvious. Discovery continuing its turn around the heading alignment circle, aligning with runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base. Discovery, on at the 180. On at the 180. The slow, gentle turn around the heading alignment circle. Commander Rick Sterko will soon align Discovery with runway 22, time to touch down two minutes. Discovery, on at the 90. On at the 90. Houston. Discovery, we copy. This view from the uh, heads-up display camera, the same view that uh, Rick Sterko and Kevin Ford are seeing now that we're aligned with runway 22. One minute until touchdown. Discovery right on the center line. Moments from now, Rick Sterko will flare up Discovery's nose. Pilot Kevin Ford will deploy the landing gear. The pre-flare maneuver conducted. Landing gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Kevin Ford now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. Discovery rolling out on runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base, California, wrapping up a 5.7 million mile mission to resupply and fortify the International Space Station.